Samsung makes a lot of accessories for their devices. Today, we're going to take a look at the anti-reflection screen protector from Samsung made specifically for the S24 series. Now, one of the things about the S24 series is that their displays are less reflective. You see it right away when you compare it to some of the earlier generation devices. And this screen protector is providing us protection for our display while keeping that anti-reflection going on at the same time, as that may change depending on the brand that you're using for your device. So. This is TK. This is the screen protector directly from Samsung, the original one. And of course, we're going to go ahead and install it on our S24 Ultra and see how does it compare and does it actually meet the expectations that we have. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so they're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. Okay, so in front of us we have the S23 Ultra, the S24 Ultra, and of course the anti-reflection screen protector. Again, this is a uh, flexible, this is not a glass protector, so it's going to be different than what we've seen. The reason why I'm showing you guys the, the device here is this is actually installed with a glass protector from Whitestone Dome Glass, and we're going to be experimenting on this one, seeing how does the actual reflection work, and does it, does it actually still hold up the reflection reduction that we have with the brand new display here. Uh, the installation itself is actually pretty straightforward. What we get in the box actually is pretty much everything that you need. There is two screen protectors included in here. There's a cleaning cloth and a nice little adapter to attach to the bottom of your display. And one of the other options of course is the ability to be actually pushing out those bubbles out so that you have that really nice clean installation. They do include a QR code in the box to be able to watch a video on how to install this experience. But at the end, I'll probably say is make sure that you're in an area where there is no dust or at least a very low amount of dust, preferably in actually in a bathroom after running hot water for about a few minutes so that all of the dust in the air gets absorbed by the moisture. And then basically you're in a very clean, flat surfaced area. But for the video, as I'm showing you guys right now with the B-roll, I did this here in the office. Unfortunately, one of the things is that one piece of dust did actually go under there, but I can assure you I can probably reapply it with the other one. The first and foremost thing is the installation is simple, very easy. You install the guard, you remove the inside tape that we have on the inside part of the actual uh, screen protector, you put it on, and then of course start applying it using the applicator that they include in the box. And then from there, you're pretty much straightforward. You do the bottom, you do the top part, where you flip over the phone, remove the adapter, and remove obviously uh, the top portion, and then push it out, and then push any kind of excess air on the bubbles. And for the most part, I actually installed pretty nicely with the exception again that I had a one small speck of dust that was still there and I probably need to reapply this. But at the installation or after you install it, it's pretty much a straightforward experience. The phone works just the way you had it before. Fingerprint sensor actually works almost as good as we had it before and then there was no need to reapply it. I actually barely have to touch the display as you can see and it automatically unlocks. You don't need to turn on the high sensitivity function because again, this is uh, not a glass protector. The configuration here, I probably will say is very much can, the same as we used to get it um, with the factory installed screen protector from Samsung back in the old days. Some people used to replace them, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same experience. Goes to say basically is that the installation is actually very much tight. It does go to the edges, but it does not cover the entire display because it's intended to work with cases. That's one of the big things I noticed in some of the comments on this. A lot of people were like, well, this doesn't go to the edges. It doesn't cover the entire display. It's intended to work with, in general, most cases that are available on the market. And most cases will have more of a raised lip on the side. The leather case doesn't do that. It has that raised lip that on the top, on the back obviously keeps the protection. And the space becomes more functional here because it gives us enough of an area between the, the actual case itself and the protector so that we don't have a bump against it. Being that this is not glass, if there's a case pushing against it, that could cause it to peel, obviously the, uh, damaging the protection that you have in there. And of course, this obviously works the way you imagine it. Again, fingerprint works really, really good. Let's go ahead and open up the S Pen. You could use all the configuration in here, double tapping, go home. All of the stuff that you normally expect work absolutely fantastic. I can press and hold and then of course do the circle to search. It works the way you expect it. It's just not a glass protector. So what I would probably say is the first thing that we're going to definitely look at here, let's go ahead and clean up the display a little bit because again my fingers apparently are not as clean as it used to be. You'll notice right out of the box right here, as you're looking at the camera, this is the overhead camera that you guys are looking from, the reflection is a lot more prominent here on the S23 Ultra with the glass protector that we have here. I'll say that it is also pretty much a similar experience when we're using a glass protector from other companies on the S24 Ultra. The reflection becomes more prominent because the glass is becoming more reflective on it. This one actually continues the experience as we have it on the device. And because I want to show you guys exactly how it looks like, I'm going to actually go ahead and peel it. The reflection is exactly the same. You can barely see the reflection. What this is providing us is the ability of getting, keeping the reflection reduction uh, capabilities of the display and providing it some protection. 
The only thing though is this is not glass. This is obviously a screen protector that's intended to be exactly what you get from the factory. And this is something that if you'd like to have it, you're able to pick it up directly. There is two in the box, very easy to install, very simple to configure. And uh, make sure that you align it correctly as I was installing and you install it in a clean environment. As far as the functionality and use. Now, because this is not exactly installed entirely closer to the edge, if you're using a case that's more of a low profile on the side, you're definitely gonna feel the actual protector with your finger as you're swiping from the edges, especially when you're doing gestures. That's obviously gonna be right away noticeable. If you're using buttons, not as much because the buttons are pretty much more of a press as opposed to kind of a swipe. But if you have a case like, again, with the one with the glass protector, or the one that I have on this one, the edges are raised so that by the time I actually swipe to the actual display, you don't really feel it. So it's going to depend on the case. But this is definitely compatible with every case on the market, be it a rugged case, a slim case, or anything that you want. It's going to give you that protection. It is not glass. I still think glass protection is going to be definitely a much better solution. Although you go to glass, you're losing the, ref well, you're gaining the reflection, you're losing the anti-reflection functionality. So it's kind of a combination of what you want out of the experience here. If you prefer the, the non-reflective uh, properties of the display on the S24 series, specifically on the S24 Ultra, I recommend you go in with this display. It's going to provide you uh, the screen protector, the stock screen protector experience that Samsung used to put on their devices, and that's pretty much what this is. It's intended to be that stock screen protector that you get on the device, and it keeps the anti-reflective uh, properties that the display is benefiting from. So you, you don't lose that experience going with this solution. If you want a glass solution, you'll get a better protection, but you gain some reflection. It, again, it depends on what you're looking for. And I hope at least between those two options, you find a solution that works for you. Samsung currently does not have glass protection. There are other solutions on the market like white stone dome glass. I've done a video for you guys on that on the channel. I'll give you guys a link in the description below. Just know that although you get better protection, you gain some reflection. And of course, you do need to retrain your fingerprint on the glass solution and turn on the high sensitivity function as that is required because the glass obviously is a lot thicker than the screen protector that we get here from Samsung. The fingerprint sensor definitely worked absolutely very fast and you could barely touch it. It unlocks the display. At the end of the day, what I probably would say is this is again the stock experience experience screen protector that we used to get on our devices out of the factory. Now we have the option of going with it or going with other solutions. And I really like the fact that Samsung is pushing out a solution that keeps that anti-reflectiveness property that, again, we don't have on the glass side at this point because of, again, just the properties of the material that we're using. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, I'll see you in the next one.